Hi, I'm John Neighbor, a winner of five Olympic medals in swimming at the 1976 Games in Montreal. And I'm proud to be a member of the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame. Today we're going to talk about the Olympic spirit. Hi, Nancy Spears today talking to John Neighbor about mentoring children. John is a, a legend, um, an in Olympian. My own mind. <laughs> yeah, I swam in 1976, a long time ago. But I'm so proud to be part of the Olympic family today. And here on Times Square in New York City, everybody's talking about the Olympics. It's 100 days to go. 100 days to go. What could you teach someone in 100 days how to find uh, what their passion would be if you had 100 days to do it? Um, Finding your passion, I think, is easy. Everybody knows what they like to do. The trick is to find the coaching and the guidance to do it at a world-class level. Not, any, not everybody can be a great swim coach, but every great athlete needs a great coach. And that's so important, a role model. Even in business, you need a mentor in the corporate office who cares about you and your success. The other thing I like to tell kids is that you go to a restaurant, you enjoy a nice full meal, and then they hand you the bill. But that's not the way it is in the real world. In sport, you got to pay first. You got to do the work, burn the calories, you know, lift the weights, do it with nobody watching, and maybe if you've paid enough of a price, maybe they'll bring you the reward later. It's a delayed gratification concept that I remember off the side of a root beer bottle said, no deposit, no return. And that's the method, that's the message that I'd like America to learn today. Fantastic. And so while you're depositing, you're actually getting the gift and returning every day anyway? Well, if you enjoy doing what you're doing, the process is a pleasure. I liked going to work out. And it was a punishment when the coach said, John, you're out of the pool. Take a hike. You're not working out today. I went, no. And the one thing you don't want to have happen is you don't want to win a silver medal at the Olympics knowing that if I just work a little bit harder, I could have had gold. There's no shame in a silver. I want a silver, and I'm very proud of the silver. But if you could have won gold, that's a heartbreak. And you, the only way to prevent that is to know you've done everything you can in advance. Thank you, John Neighbor, for sharing your wisdom, your advice uh, for future generations. Um, such a privilege to meet you. Thank you. Go Team USA! Yeah, yeah, absolutely.